What about fusion? When we talk about creating a balanced architecture with CPU and GPU, yeah. and that's taking it to the extreme, right? Uh, we're, we're talking today about doing in discrete terms what ultimately is going to be done uh, on the same silicon. So uh, we have teams working on that, and it's really exciting, actually, what we learned today about the kinds of workloads that accelerate well on different types of architectures carries directly forward into, into that effort. Is there a time frame for fusion? So uh, initial products that unite CPU and GPU capability on the same silicon will be targeted more um, at the low end in the notebook space and time frame. Second half of yeah. nine. Yeah. Second half of nine. And that's what we've talked about is our, our Swift uh, APU or accelerated processing unit with our Shrike, S-H-R-I-K-E platform. Of course, the chipset looks significantly different. Um, once you've integrated the amount of functionality that we have with the mm -hmm. GPU and CPU, so it's it's a pretty exciting product, and it's it's um, it is initially in the notebook space. And stay tuned for details on what the lineup will look like of APUs and platforms, and some of the things that we're excited about that it lets us do in the notebook market. You have the ability in our accelerated computing program to put different kinds of cores together. So there are 1,600 stream processing cores in this board. And uh, so you can you can certainly apply some number of those as well as perhaps different kinds of uh, accelerator cores along with the CPU. Right. <laughs> Larabee as Intel's endeavor into the discrete graphics market right. because the graphics architecture has risen so much in its importance in the end user experience. Whereas Fusion is, a, is I guess a thought beyond that how you continue the process of integration, which we've seen in the handset business. You know that's what that's what goes on in our handsets is more and more functionality being integrated either at an SOC level or on the same die of silicon right. and that lets us do some some pretty cool things we think with the notebook form factor and, and our competitiveness there and we've shown that you know we already at the platform level are delivering the superior uh, HD experience which we've called HD on the go in the notebook and we're leveraging the next generation of RIP right. uh, in, in fusion. Essentially they're trying to build one of these with a combination of uh, x86 cores with some stuff taken out of them to leave room for some sort of a vector unit. So it's not designed to replace a CPU and a GPU by, by putting those technologies together. It's still a coprocessor, but it's, it's really designed to create another architectural approach to a problem that uh, has, has actually been solved.